so fellowship is certainly important to us uh, within the church. Uh-huh. This past uh, Sunday, we dropped our kids off at Sunday school, and then we were about to go to Sunday school ourselves when we ran into Bryce in the, the great room. And um, I ended up just chatting with them, just, you know, <laughs> catching up on some things. And, you know, the people have been so important to us in our motivation to continue our growth and continue to stay with the church and um, just being there. I think the committees that we're both parts of now, Kayla's part of stewardship more recently, I was, a, I've been a part of Building the Grounds for a number of years now. Um, I think that the people in both of those cases on those committees were very welcoming and um, not trying to throw us into the fire, but I think trying to get our input. And when I joined Building and Grounds, I was a stay-at-home dad and really, you know, was flexible with the schedule, but was not really able to do a whole lot because I was taking care of a kid all the time during the day. Mm-hmm. So um, I remember going to the church and helping pull wire for when we put Wi-Fi into the church, helping Russ and um, Bob, I think, primarily and how that was just kind of an interesting balance. But I was mostly there observing, not really helping because I had a baby with me. But My faith has been nurtured at First Presbyterian Church by just encouraging me to keep showing up. I think faith has always been important to both of us, but in other places we've lived and other churches we've attended and you know even before we were together we both had um, spiritual backgrounds, religious backgrounds, but I'm not sure that either one of us were very participatory in those. It was um, more so you know something that framed who you are and so there's this sense of obligation. I'm not sure that before we came to this church that I felt like you know a pull to keep being there every week and not even just on Sundays but just to keep being there to be, keep being a part of things. Doing ministry together I think became important especially through, well, speaking for myself, through being an elder on session, um, because you see all the different viewpoints of all the different, everyone's walked life differently, everyone's lived in different places, have different life experiences, and you, unless you include those in how we make decisions in the church, you don't get the full picture. So one of the first weeks that we came to First Presbyterian, uh, Lucas was getting fussy, he was a, a few months old, and I was standing in the back of the church just rocking him and I look over and there's Kathleen who I had not met yet, Kathleen Wheeler, um, also uh, rocking a baby in her arms and I just felt very much like, hey, I'm supposed to be doing this here. (laughs) You know, I'm supposed to be here in spite of, you know, I don't need to be in a crying room. I'm I'm welcome to, you know, the sanctuary at this time. I don't have to hide parenthood or motherhood from um, being there with everybody else. And it just felt very comforting uh, that everybody just kind of wrapped their arms around us when we arrived.